Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am bringing you a morning routine video which is slightly different to my usual standard morning routine because obviously of current situation and times we've slightly altered it a bit for a slightly more relaxed approach to our weekday morning. So this is just a weekday morning in lockdown <laughs> and what we typically do and yeah I thought I'd talk to you about it and explain what we do and why. Obviously it's a challenging time for us all which is why we've kind of altered what we do normally just to kind of make us feel a little bit more relaxed. So let us get started. So the first thing I do in the morning is get up. We're actually getting up now about quarter past half past seven which to be honest beforehand we were getting up about half six um, or even earlier than that to be honest and then going to the gym once we'd had our morning cup of tea. So we've altered that just to get up slightly later because the days are very long at the moment and obviously we can't get out. We're saving a lot of time by not going out and shooting content or going to events so we're kind of just having that extra hour to catch up on some sleep and relaxing. So we get up about quarter past seven and I head straight to the kitchen, get all the curtains open and what's so nice about this time is that it's light in the morning and I just feel so much better and so much more awake when it's light and those early mornings are turning lighter and it just makes me feel a lot more awake and refreshed almost so I get all the curtains open and get the light in the room and then head to make a cup of tea for us both we do this every morning I love to have my cup of tea in bed I just feel like it wakes me up so much better than if I just kind of sprung out of bed and got going I think it would feel a bit overwhelming and I'd feel really exhausted and I just like to wake up slowly drinking my cup of tea in bed we usually put the news on the TV to see what's going on and I'll also catch up on Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, I am at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. I scroll through my feed and also get back to comments on both YouTube and Instagram and any direct messages, things like that. So I spend quite a bit of time catching up with that and slowly waking up. So then when I do get up, I make sure I make the bed. I kind of leave it to settle for a little bit and then I'll make it because I just feel like I'm not complete until my bed's made. It's almost like putting makeup on for me. I feel like I need to make that bed just so I can start the day. Before all this, we would have gone to the gym, but now we are taking the time using our daily exercise allowance to go for a run in the morning. Usually we did a 5K this morning, but we'll alternate that. So we'll do maybe a 5K one day and then do half the next day, two and a half K, and then maybe some like sit-ups and some or something like that. Then we'll have a day of rest and then we'll go back to the 5K again. We'll just kind of work it like that so we don't feel like a burnout. And honestly, as much as I don't want to do the run and as much as I dread it, the minute I get outside, I instantly feel so much better. So I really encourage you, as sluggish and horrible as you feel and as dreading the run or exercise as you are, just get out and go because it really does make you feel better and yeah, it's, it's worth it in the end. So after that, I come back and have a shower. So I'm using the original Mane & Tail shampoo and conditioner followed by Cell Pro Easy on the Eye Cleanser um, and it is easy on the eye as it says. It's like a nice jelly-like texture and I feel like it takes my makeup off really well but also really gently. Obviously I don't have makeup on before this to go for a run but I do use it morning and night and it is very gentle on the skin. So after that I go and put makeup on. I feel for me it's really important to get ready and actually put makeup on for the day. Even if it's not a lot, I've done a recent foundation free makeup tutorial. If you want to go and check that out I will leave it linked and tagged. So you can go and watch that but that's kind of my daily routine of how I do my makeup and you can see it all there um, but at the moment I'm not really wearing much foundation I'm just trying to do when on the days I'm not filming like minimal makeup but I still feel the need to put it on and get dressed in the morning. I'll then blow dry my hair and maybe curl it a little bit depending on what I'm doing that day and pick an outfit for the day. I'm trying to kind of get dressed every day but 
into kind of comfy clothes that I can feel productive and working. Again, I actually have a video on working from home, comfy outfits that you can just get your work done in, but you're not you're not uncomfortable, but you're also not wearing loungewear. So I try and go for that kind of outfit each day, again, if I'm not filming. After that, we usually make our coffee, which I love doing. I feel like the coffee is such a ritual in the morning, and because obviously these days are repetitive, um, I've kind of come to love the rituals of doing things every day. So the ritual of having coffee is something I really take pleasure in, and I think it's important that you kind of have those little things in your day that you really look forward to and that you can just enjoy. So we make it with a proper kind of coffee pot that we put on the stove. The one that we are using is from John Lewis and I will link it. And I think it's um, suitable for every kind of hob as is an induction and it's fine with that. So basically what you do is get ground coffee, you put it in the kind of filtery bit in the center, make sure you pat it all down and fill it all the way to the top. And then you fill up the bottom half with water, not all the way to the top though, but you fill it up. And this is for espresso coffee, but we basically do the espresso coffee and then fill up our cups with loads of milk. So it's like quite milky, but also strong, which is the way I like it. So then you leave it on the hob, we put it on about eight out of 10 heat leave it on until it's stopped making a noise basically it, it can make quite a loud noise depending on the coffee and then um, when it's done it will be in the top half and you can just pour it into your cups and we also heat the milk up so we'll put um, some milk in a jug put it in the microwave for three minutes and then you need to take the film off the top and then pour it in and then fill the cups up with the milk at the end so what I like to do when I have my coffee is just sit down and take 10 minutes to just enjoy Enjoy it. I like to find a little place in the apartment where there's a spot of sun if the sun's out that day. Um, we have a couple of chairs that just soak up the sun which is really nice and I just sit there and enjoy the coffee and kind of take that moment to regroup, think about what I'm doing that day, kind of think about positive things as much as I can and just like set my mind in the right frame of mind. And then we'll move on to breakfast. Usually, I mean pretty much 99% of the time. Tim cooks us breakfast because he enjoys cooking and he's really good at it as well. So he often makes us, it depends what day it is, sometimes we'll have a light breakfast, like I'll have yogurt and um, fruit and honey or something, which again, we've done a what we eat in a week video. So I'll make sure that's linked so you can go and check that out. But um, a light breakfast would be that, but then if we've kind of been on a 5k, feeling quite hungry, it can get to like 10, half 10, and we'll have something like eggs on toast. So today we've had egg, toast, and then some salad, which I just think is such a nice combination. It feels really fresh, really filling, and really tasty. We usually have whole grain toast, one piece, two eggs, and then some salad as well. But yeah, that's our typical kind of breakfast when we've done quite a lot of exercise. So then after that, I'll get straight into work. And like I say, because we've got a lot more free time on our hands, and I think just mentally, we need to slow down a little bit so we can process it all and not get too overwhelmed. We're just trying to take it a bit slower. So we kind of start work maybe about half 10-ish and I'll just get stuck in. Usually I begin with emails and then I'll just work my way through. I like to write a list. I'm a very listy person and then I'll highlight it off as I go along in the day because I just feel so much more accomplished because of that and I get a lot more done if I can see it visually and I can see ticking off. It just makes me feel a lot more productive. I have done on um, my Instagram, I've done some lockdown, quarantine, self-isolation stories um, and highlights and I've kind of given some working from home tips if you find yourself in the position working from home and you've not done before, I've given some tips over there um, so you can go and check that out and hopefully they'll be helpful. I mean, I've been working from home now for like two and a half years so I kind of feel like I've got a good routine. Obviously at the moment it's a lot slower than normal but I'm still trying to follow that routine and pattern where I can um, and not be too harsh on myself. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know. I feel like this is a slightly different kind of video to what I'm usually used to making. Slightly maybe? I don't know. 
Um, but if you have enjoyed it, let me know. I can maybe try and do an evening routine. I've not, I feel like I've not got my evening routine completely down pat yet, but I feel like I ought to. So maybe doing a video on it would encourage me to get into that routine. But let me know if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is important. And yeah, give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video that would also mean a lot to me and just thanks so much as well for like commenting because I feel like social media is such a place to connect during these times and it's so nice to actually talk to people and see how you're experiencing things and seeing how you're getting on so yeah definitely leave me a comment if you can and thanks for watching see you in the next one bye